and as search and rescue efforts continue in Florida, the Mobile Coast Guard Aviation Training Center deployed more of its assets today. There's now six helicopters and two fixed wing aircrafts from ATC in the Sunshine State. NBC 15's Lisa Lebrenyak joins us now. Lisa Governor Ron DeSantis says the Coast Guard has already made dozens of rescues overnight. Yeah, that's right, Greg. And specifically here in Mobile, the captain of ATC, Christopher Holser, says the crews that he's already sent to Florida have been busy. How many ATC members are already in Florida? So we have 25 ATC members that are already working the District 7 or the Florida area of operations, and they're actively doing search and rescue right now. This is the second wave of air crews heading to Florida from ATC. Four helicopters are going to Tallahassee. The other two are going to Gainesville because helicopters have a radius of action of, you know, between 125 and 250 miles. They can stay airborne for between three, four, five hours. So the goal is to have them placed in various places in Florida so that we can divide up the map and all be working a certain section and then quickly go back to the place to refuel, drop people off, that type of thing. Crews already in Florida are seeing the devastation firsthand, saving residents from the roofs of homes that have been swamped by flooded waters. We have two HC 144s that are that are flying there in uh, District 7 in Florida, and those airplanes are going up and down the coast. They're doing uh, damage and uh, assessments and surveys. They're looking for any search and rescue cases. Uh, they're listening on the radios. Channel 16 is the VHF distress frequency if anybody's in trouble. The captain says there's no set return date. It could be a couple of days. It could be a couple of weeks. Greg Kim.